Hi, I'm Chef Mike, and welcome to Service Foods Gourmet Kitchen. We're celebrating Father's Day with one of his favorites. It's a grilled porterhouse steak with roasted garlic mashed potatoes. So hand dad the remote control and you cut the grass, and let's get started. To start the potatoes, we're going to need to roast them first. We'll place two pieces of aluminum foil, place our garlic in the center, and add the olive oil, kosher salt, and we'll wrap it up tight. Now that it's wrapped up good and tight, we'll pop it into a 350 degree oven for one hour to roast. Now look for the smallest red potatoes you can find. These are also called creamers. We're going to cut them in half, then in half again to quarter them. We'll place these in some salted boiling water and we'll simmer for about 10 minutes or until they're fork tender. Now while the potatoes boil, let's go ahead and prep our porterhouse steak. We'll use a simple seasoning of some salt and fresh cracked pepper. Push the pepper in and repeat for the second side. And we'll add it to our hot grill. After about two minutes, we'll give it a turn to create some nice grill marks. Dad likes his steaks medium rare, so we're looking for 130 degrees internal temperature. When the steak is just done, we'll place it on a clean plate and set it aside to rest. Now letting your steaks rest for at least 10 minutes is very important because all the juices are actually in the middle of the steak during grilling. Just letting it rest lets the juices naturally come back out to the fibers of the meat for a very tender and juicy steak. Now that our potatoes are fork tender, we'll go ahead and strain them in a strainer. And we'll place them right back in the same pot. Now remove the roasted garlic from the foil. Then use a serrated knife to remove the top of the garlic. Now we'll simply squeeze out our roasted garlic and we'll place it in our potatoes. Next we'll add our butter, salt, fresh cracked pepper, our heavy cream, I like mashing the potatoes with a fork because if you use an electric beater, you're going to beat them too fine. You want some nice bite-sized pieces in there as well. For extra grip, you can put a paper towel around the handle and then use that to mash up your potatoes. Boy, it's looking and smelling great. Let's plate it up. 